Okay, absolute value. Absolute value is going to be one of your favorites because it is not too tricky, okay? When you see these two lines around a number, it is asking for the absolute value of that number. All it is asking for is how far is this number from zero, okay? It's asking for a distance. Because it is a distance, the answer is always, 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 always positive, okay? To this part. Hold around, hold around. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Keep watching until this one, okay? Which I'll explain, okay? So it is asking on a number line, how far is four from zero? How many units? So what is my answer? We're gonna use orange. My answer is four. That's it, guys, we're done. Was that easy? Oh my gosh. Okay, next one, negative six. These two bars, absolute value, are asking how far, how many units is negative six from zero, okay? We could draw our little number line here if we wanted, okay? Here's zero, one, two, three, four, five, and negative six, okay? So it's asking for the distance. That distance is six, right? It's not a distance of negative six, right? You can't walk negative six miles. So the distance is six. Does that make sense? Why it's always positive? Hopefully, okay. All right, here, this is the difference. So if you look at these two, what's the difference? Here, the negative is inside the bars, right? Here, the negative is outside the bars. So according to order of operations, da, 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 we do, um, absolute value is considered a grouping symbol when you're doing um, order of operations. So we do what's inside first. So we solve this first. So what is the absolute value of two? The distance of two from zero is just two, right? But we're not quite done because there's this negative on the outside. So it is negative two. Now you're like, wait, you said the answer is always positive. Okay, it is. Because the answer to this was positive. And then this is like a negative one being multiplied on the outside. So the answer to this was positive. Then we multiplied that negative one in. Okay. You still with me? Okay. All right. This one, same thing. Just our inside is negative, but our answer to this part is always positive. The distance of negative 19 to zero, you can probably picture it in your head. What is the distance from negative 19 to zero? It is 19. And then we have this negative on the outside. So my answer to this was positive. We have the negative on the outside. So my answer to the whole thing is negative 19. Okay. Hope that made sense. Hope you're like, oh, that was easier than I thought. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully you can get your homework done. Bye.